Well, good afternoon guys. It seems like forever since I was last out on the bank and fishing. And doing a bit of filming. But with life, the weather, like before Christmas, every time I wanted to go, the lakes just seemed to freeze over. And like, I've been getting bait ready now for the spring and I've been suffering with my back quite badly. Seeing a chiropractor at the moment, that's kind of an ongoing concern, but it's got to that point now where I just have to get out on the bank. I'm uh, here on a new water, new adventure, new beginning. Something to share with you guys. It's a big gravel pit in the Midlands called Swarkstone. It's about 80 acres, 250 ish fish. Some unbelievably stunning looking fish in here and some big ones as well, so really looking forward to the challenge. My ticket started the start of March, but it's now the start of April and I hadn't really been fishing very well. I'd only done a couple of fish this year so far and so I kind of gave March a miss as the weather at the start of the year hasn't been very good. We're a lot of rain, cold, we haven't really seen much sunshine yet. But now we're into April, the fish kind of have to start to feed, start to move, regardless of the weather, so I thought it's time to get down here. Have a couple of sessions on here and then I'm uh, away for a week at Linear for Mike's birthday. A week on Manor Farm, so looking forward to that. But I'm going to be out regular again now and putting a fair bit of time in here this year. It's an unbelievable water. I kind of arrived first light this morning. Got up at four o'clock, left the house by five. Had a good walk around, didn't really see anything. Nothing much to go on. So I decided to come into a swim, which I know has had good form in the past from talking to a few people. A swim known as Home Alone. It's kind of on, there's two swims, this one and another one down the other end with Scott out of bounds area which is the yacht club in front of it so I thought I'd come in here give it a go got the rods out about half an hour ago haven't really put a marker rod around too much I've kind of gone out found a few spots and just for tonight just get them out quiet a few spobbins of boiling over the top and we'll see how it goes like tomorrow if nothing happens then I'll have a Good look around with a marker and try and kind of figure the swim out. Now, I'm not expecting much to happen on this session or for a while, really. You know, it's not an easy water, and I've got and kind of got to get to know it and figure out spots and where they want to be and that sort of thing. But I kind of take it as it comes. First season, anything's a bonus, and then. Once I start to get to know it, then I'll be happy to fish it through the colder months and hopefully we'll have a few fish to show along the way. I mean, it's not going to be manic action, but I'm going to thoroughly enjoy it. It's perfect water for me and I mean, it's an unbelievable place and the sort of fishing I really enjoy. So hopefully I can share that with you guys and along the way maybe even a fish or two. I mean, I'll be fishing other places in between as well, the socials and that sort of thing, so plenty of fishing to come. But for now, like I said, it's been a very long day, I'm extremely tired, I'm going to get the kettle on, have something to drink. Oh, bit of a liner there, I think, might have been a bird. But like I said, I'm going to get a drink, get some tea on, have something to eat, early night, get up early in the morning and then we'll go again and just glad to be back out on the bank to be honest and it's been far too long for me anyway really looking forward to this season so for now until later on probably in the morning catch you guys later cheers guys
Well, good morning guys. It's the first night done. It's always something magical about the first night on the new water. But, it's been very quiet. Not heard nothing, not seen anything. I put two rods out there last night on a very shallow bar, like a bar plateau sort of area. It's only a couple of foot. And the swan's kind of uh, found it. I sort of stuck with it because I thought yesterday it was quite warm. I thought they'd be up in the layers and potentially getting on that shallower area. So I stuck with it, but it's not really paid off. This one was caught kind of picking me up and stuff even through the night. So, and my deep water rods, nothing on that either. So I will have a good look today for some new spots. Have a real good look around the swim with a marker and then I'll uh, put some bait out on it and see what tonight brings really. But confident, positive as always. I said the weather's totally different today, like it's warm, sunny yesterday and today it's overcast and kind of raining all day so you can see I'm already a little bit wet and being out watching the water but it's going to be one of them days I'm going to have to get wet and have a good look around the swim and try and figure something out for tonight keep positive and hopefully effort equals reward and there's always a chance if you're fishing there's always a chance but yeah thoroughly enjoying it just glad to be here and I'll uh, update you later on and you know, like I said, I'll give you a look around the swim and at my bait and kind of what I'm doing and everything later on or tomorrow and I'm here for four nights like okay. I've already done a night so three more nights to go I'm happy with the area I mean I've not seen anything anywhere else to really go off and nobody else is catching so I'll just keep plodding keep trying hopefully we can nick one so until later on Catch you guys in a bit. Cheers guys. Right guys, just give you a little look at the swim that I'm in. Starting with where I parked the car. Car's just there, and as you come round, we walk down underneath this big canopy of trees. Swim plaque there, as you can see, I'm in home alone. As we come towards the swim, built up nice and flat, put the bivy on. Like I said, nice canopy of trees. Once the leaves come out, it'll be a great spot. When it's hot, keep you nice and cool. Come towards the front of the swim. Bivy's just there, up on that platform. Rods down there. Four rod rule on here, so I've got four rods. They're not out yet, I'm gonna put them out in a minute. And come out towards the front of the swim slightly underwater at the moment so I'm just wading out towards the front of the swim as we look round to my left there's three great big islands up there lots of water up there and then it goes right round down round that corner and then I've got one rod out there onto a little hump sort of in sort of 10 foot of water sort of 12 13 foot around it and then there's a bar right there just fishing off the back of that because 
on top of it the swans managed to reach me it's very shallow on the top so i'm in about sort of seven eight foot of water just on the back of the bar take two out in open water out there by that hump one on that bar and one just down in this channel yacht club just down there and i've got one there in 11 foot of water with a sort of 13 foot 14 foot of water around it a nice clear spot loads of water down there goes all the way down to that end when I got here it was very calm not a lot of wind just sort of started with a couple of spawns a boilie over the top of each rod that's kind of where I am at the moment not really seen anything to go on still fishing quite slow at the minute but we're here the rods in the water there's always a chance. So there we are guys, let's come back out of the water. A lovely little swim this one. If anyone's wondering what that flag's about, that's uh, when you're in a swim, you uncover that flag. It's a little black sheath there take it out just so the boats know that you're here and they kind of avoid you good idea really keeps everybody happy then so there we are guys just a little look at the swim that I'm in until later on Cheers guys. Well, good evening guys. I gave it up until about lunchtime, then I wound in and spent two or three hours with a marker float, searching out the entire swim. And I found some really nice spots. A disturbance probably hasn't helped me much, but you've got to do it. I have to sort of figure out the lake and jot all that down in my book. And, and then if I ever get back in the swim, I can just have a quick look. It's still clear, but I'm fishing straight away definitely worth it definitely puts you extra fish on the bank but I'm going into tonight very confident done kind of the same thing put all out on hinge diff rigs two or three spots of boilie over the top the water's still cold at the minute and fish aren't probably feeding as heavy as I'd like as soon as they do I'll get back on the particle as well and at the moment I'm just trying to nick a bite hopefully you never know, and that extra work, maybe tonight's the night. If not, then I'll sort of reassess in the morning and I'll make a decision from then whether to stay here or to move or what to do really. Not really seen anything today, but I have caused a lot of disturbance in my area. So hopefully I'll hear some tonight or if not, see some in the morning. But I'm going to keep going, keep plodding, always confident, always trying. So for now, until later on, probably in the morning, I'll update you then. Cheers guys.
Well, good afternoon guys. If I sound a bit husky, that's because I've got a sore throat. I don't think it's anything really. Might just be being back out on the bank. Sunshine. Don't feel ill at all, so it's just one of them. Hopefully I won't lose my voice and I can carry on talking to you guys. I would have updated you this morning, but I decided to have a move. Just wasn't happening in that other swim, hadn't seen anything. Wasn't feeling it and I thought the wind had picked up, the sunshine had come out. I did consider the shallows, but I wanted to get on the end of the wind. There was a good wind pumping into this bottom end bank, my peg six, peg known as the plateaus. So I managed to get the rods out, get a little bit of bait around them. We'll see what the rest of today brings and tonight. Like I said, there's a lot of learning to go on yet, so I don't just want to sit in one swim if it's not happening. I want to try and learn the lake as quickly as I can. I did think about the shallows. I did have a quick look around there, but I thought this nice warm wind is every chance. So we'll see what tonight brings give you guys a look around and swim in that probably tomorrow so until later on probably tomorrow cheers guys like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me Meant to be in the great outdoors, forever free. Well, good morning, guys. It's another night done. Unfortunately, it's another quiet one. Didn't really see anything yesterday. Had a bit of a nightmare with a floating weed. Got wiped out several times. So rechucking probably didn't help. Cast far oh, too many times than what I'd really like to. But like I said, I didn't really see anything in the area. I was kind of hoping they'd turn up on that wind. For whatever reason they didn't. It's kind of a guessing game at the moment, not really sure where they are. Nobody is, you know, nobody's catching. Nothing's really happening. It's very quiet all around the lake. Just figuring out what the fish are doing at the minute. I'm sure they're up and moving. I mean, it's a very rich lake, so they've got plenty to eat. It's just a case of trying to figure out where they are, and what they're doing at the minute. Maybe they're up in them shallows. I don't really know yet. It's uh, a bit of a tricky one, really, when you can't find them. <laughs> they're not showing, but you know. I'm still learning lots, it's early days yet, I mean, said in my first session, so I didn't really expect too much. I'm doing what I can, like I said, always keeping motivated, always trying, moving, trying different things. Like I said they're still waking up, but uh, hopefully, I've got one more night yet. Never know, might nick one before going home tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. I'm not going to bother boring you to death tonight with another update if nothing happens. I'll update you in the morning before I pack up and go home. It's not looking great though. As I said, it's gone very sunny, very calm, high pressure. Imagine them fish are going to be up in them shallows today. 
but being bank holiday weekend there's all the anglers up there so there's no point in moving for the last night just sitting out hope something turns up until later on cheers guys Right guys, I just thought I'd talk you through my bait for the session. Couldn't be any simpler really. I've just gone down the boilie route. Gone with 12mm maple digest, 14mm maple digest, 14mm FSB and 18mm FSB. Just to give a few different sizes, shapes and uh, smells and attraction both been soaked in the matching liquid food complexes. I'm sort of using the different sizes and shapes just to create that confusion and so they have to alter the sucking and blowing and hopefully then they don't suss my rig and I can get a bite. I can normally fish a lot of particle and I will start doing that soon but while there's not much weed about I've just gone down the boilie route because I'm not putting an awful lot of bait out. So I want someone out there that they that can compete with the naturals and they really want to eat. And as soon as the weed starts to come up in the next few weeks, I'll probably be back on the particle and that sort of thing. And then I've got a hinge diff rig with one of the special cork ball pop-ups I make. And that's it really. A couple of spawns over each rod. Doing the same on all four rods, just different spots, spreading my rods about, trying to locate some fish. And that's my bait and tactics for this session. So there you are guys, catch you guys later. Cheers guys. give you a little look around the swim that I've moved into swim called the plateaus cars parked there lovely old stone bridge over there and then you turn around literally bivy it's just down there as you can see it's gone very calm very high pressure sun is out quite early morning so you can see it's going to be a hot day you can see I think the fish probably will shift up to the shallows as we come out to the front of the swim got an island just over there which goes right round into a back bay loads more water over there and all this open water right in front as we come round all that water down there and the yacht club just over there. I was fishing right back over there. See that island in the far distance? That's where I started. But now, I've got two rods out towards that island and a couple of rods out just in front of me. About sort of 100 yards ish. I'm not going to say exactly where because uh, I don't want to give it all away. That's a quick little look at the swim. So baby there, come back out of the water.
boats down there. Like I said, when I got here, the wind was absolutely pumping in here. I said I had a bit of a nightmare with the weed. I said the water's starting to warm up now and the weed's starting to pop up to the surface. It tends to wipe you out, but it's just part and parcel of fishing these big pits. This is kind of the area that I'm in. Road over there, but kind of used to the noise, it's not too bad. So, there we are, guys. That's a look at my swim. Till later on. Cheers, guys. Well, good morning guys, it's a final night done, as expected, it was another quiet one. I do think with that high pressure and sunshine, they definitely would have shifted into the shallower areas of the lake. But, thoroughly enjoyed it, learnt loads. It's only early morning, it's sort of like half eight now in the morning, and as you can see from the bivvy glowing behind me, the sun's already starting to shine. It's going to be another hot day, and I'm not going to hang around too much longer and then get packed up, get back on the motorway, get back home. But I'll be back up next week to have another go before a trip to Linear. Yep, learned a lot, really enjoyed it. Didn't expect to catch first trip. Been nice but it's just it would have been a very big ask. Especially as the lake hasn't really done many fish this year anyway. It's uh, fishing very very slow this year it's normally quite a good winter water but with the sun last year and the summer we had all the heat the extra weed in the water it was very weedy and I think the normal spots covered in weed and it was a tough winter for the lads that fished through the winter on here still looking still trying to see if there's anything showing but just not seen anything nothing to go on at all but different weather front coming in next week low pressure some quite nice winds so you never know maybe next week's a week but for now thanks for watching until next time tight lines from me bye for now cheers guys <laughs>